to provide PWM signals to gates of MOSFETs. I designed simple PWM circuit using 3525 IC, which provides simulated sine wave at output. Also the output voltage can be adjusted using this potentiometer by feeding AC voltage. And frequency can also be adjusted using this potentiometer. This is shutdown pin of IC, it shuts down the inverter in case of any error. Also this totem pole circuit is added to amplify the PWM signals from IC. And this current sensing circuit is added to shut down the inverter in case of short circuit or overload. For easy assembly of this circuit, I converted the schematics into the PCB. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link is in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, visit jlcpcb.com. And here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces is for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now use 3525IC and install it at its place. Now our PWM driver is ready to use. Solder wires for input DC and output PWM. Connect the PWM wires to the gate of MOSFETs. And connect the input wires with DC positive and negative. Now connect the load wires to output of transformer. Use a 12 volt battery and connect DC with inverter input. As you can see the inverter circuit is working perfectly, and also the bulbs are glowing very bright. You can also connect more load, but need to connect bigger battery. Since this is high frequency inverter with high efficiency, but output will be safe only for lighting, and non-inductive loads. In upcoming video, we will convert this inverter, into pure sine wave with 50Hz frequency, which will be safe to use in all applications. To adjust the output voltage, connect the bridge rectifier and feed the positive to the spin through a 330 kilo ohms resistor and negative to ground. And with this potentiometer, you'll be able to adjust the output voltage. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.